Welcome back to another MySys video with Brand Out Consulting. Today we're going to be talking about physical inventory sheets. Today we're going to get ready to do our inventory count. So what we're going to do is we're going to come to stock control, here to physical inventory. All of these ones are clickable, um, but we're going to start right here. Now we can start um, item, cycle base, or date based. And if you remember in our items, uh, down here in the master files, we go to items and our cycle counts are all right here. So this is on inventory cycle count one. And if you have a cycle count of zero, what it does is it will count to every time or on this, it will help us include it or exclude it. So let's go here. So we'll show you item based and we can do range or list. And if you notice these change, so we can edit list and we can just pick whatever we want. So we put this here or we highlight a few and move them all over there. So we can do it that way. Uh, you can do it by range. So we go range here, select that to here and select that. And now we have the range from IO1 to IO7. We can exclude inactive items. So exclude unknown item locations. If they haven't been assigned to a, a location, then we can exclude those. Append to existing worksheet is if we're in the middle of a cycle count and we need to add other items or that kind of stuff, we can do that here. Um, locations, we can sort by locations, uh, by field. Um, and we can sort descending. Uh, we're going to come back up here and we're going to go to cycle based and we'll go over here. So right here include cycles. So we're going to do cycle one. Now you can exclude cycle zero. Remember when we put in cycle zero, it automatically includes it in every one that we do. But we can click this to exclude it on this one if we'd like to. And then this is sort. We can sort by item number, item reference, pick sequence, or location. So you can do, so item reference, the reason that uh, the MySys has actually included item reference is what a lot of people have done is when we go to the master files and we look at the items, their reference number that's right here, their reference number that's right here um, can be for their own internal or sometimes for legacy usage. All right, so let's go back over here. Yeah, let's go here to cycle base. And so we have, um, so we have here, pick sequence and location. You can sort descending. Um, and of course, portrait landscape and cards. So here on print format, we can do portrait, landscape or cards and cards. Um, when you print cards, that's really if you have items all over your warehouse or in different locations, if you're not doing it by one location, then you can take those and MySys will uh, separate them by location and then you can uh, put them all in according to the card and MySys will total those back up. Um, including stock levels, you can do that. Um, typically people don't want to because they want a fresh count. They don't want existing numbers on there so that people can just say, okay, yeah, that's what we want. So we can include stock levels if you choose. So what we're going to do is we're going to include cycle one on this one and we're going to preview. So cycle count one into cards and actually let's go off of cards. Let's go to landscape. Okay. So we're going to include cycle one on a landscape and we're going to preview that one. And let's see what we get here. All right, so we can put all of our information in here. see how many pages we have we have a lot of pages let's go to the very last page so we've got 40 pages because we in, we've included all of our cycle zeros now when you hit print 
um, when you hit print it's going to print out what we just saw and it's also going to record so when we hit the record button basically it takes a snapshot and at that same time even if you're using inventory basically mysis will continue to use the inventory mysis will know that basically when you put in your inventory count it's off of the inventory count of the point in time that you hit record so in essence when you hit the record button that's what mysis says okay if i've got a hundred of this inventory but during our work day we used five more and when you bring your inventory count back with 85 it's going to say they had 100 they used five today but they say they have 85 which is off the 100 so it's going to come back with a total of 80 because you used five if you found this helpful please like share subscribe comment below let us know what else we can help you with thanks